It's late April, so you know what that means? I'm chasing a big old Iowa gobbler this afternoon, but before I even do that, welcome to Rink's Roundtable, where we talk about what has happened and what's going to happen and everything in between. April continues to be wet, cold, and quite frankly, just downright miserable here in the upper Midwest. So the two dates that we had for the United States Modified Touring Series to visit the Hamilton County Speedway in early April, one was postponed and eventually the whole event was just canceled. So now, the next time the USMTS hits the track, it's gonna be at the Dairyland Showdown at Mississippi Thunder Speedway on May 5th through the 7th. Speaking of Mississippi Thunder Speedway, I was up there last week where I caught up with T-Bone Tyrone and talk to them what the fans should expect for the 2022 race season at MTS. To start off the season, our 14th annual season opener, our third annual car offensive memorial. Should be a massive night to start out our season. And then we're gonna, gonna roll right into our World of Outlaw US MTS event. Can't wait to get that underway on May 5th, 6th, and 7th. Um, that'll be probably our premier event for the entire summer. We'll have Dirt Kings a couple times. We got one uh, June 3rd, also got them August 19th. And then uh, throughout the summer, we'll have some other cool events. We've got K-Town Clash uh, at the end of July. We'll have our uh, US MTS be back again Labor Day weekend. We'll have our pumpkin races in September and October. So it'll be another reaction packed all year long. The biggest thing we want to do is we just want to get uh, get our fans in out here in a timely manner. Uh, we've kind of wanted to go down to four core classes for quite a while now. Our hobby stocks, B mods, US sorry, late models and modified. So I think it'll help make sure fans get in here around 7 and get out of here by 10 o'clock every night. So it'll be, I think it'll be a good deal for us all year. A lot of action-packed stuff. Uh, we got really good payouts again all year long. Should have a lot of cars, hopefully good car counts all year. Um, it should be, it just be another great summer. It'll be a lot of, a lot of, no, a lot of guys you had not seen all year long will be here, especially with the big events going on. So it'll be something we can build up for. The 2022 race season at Mississippi Thunder Speedway is supposed to kick off this Friday with a third annual... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut here real quick. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I'm on a field drive that that leads into um, an alfalfa field. We got a couple of field tops over here, and um, they actually the birds actually kind of roost kind of close. They're like up over this hill and kind of on the backside of this ravine over here. So it doesn't surprise me that that we just heard a gobble. But um, anyway, so the 2022 race season at Mississippi Thunder Speedway kicks off on Friday with the third annual Carl Fenske Memorial. Last year, Lucas Schott took home more than $5,000 in his winning efforts. And currently, as of Monday, the purse was over $3,000. And that's expected to rise as donations continue to pour in throughout the course of this week. Another area racetrack gearing up for their 2022 season is Deer Creek Speedway. And I also visited him too last week as well, where I ran into Cole Queensland, the fantasy football guru himself. I'm really excited, looking forward to the upcoming season. Uh, added stock cars to the weekly program. I just bring some excitement, looking forward to that. And I uh, got some other things we're looking to uh, bring to the Speedway in 2022. So uh, look look for Facebook for some updates and we're ready to go racing. The weekly competition here at Deer Creek, I'd like to think, is probably as tough as you're going to find just about anywhere across the country. Uh, you take the modified guys, and I think we got three, four guys that are out on tour. Uh, they'll bounce back in time to time, and it's fun to watch them. Um, our B-Mod guys, uh, Jim Chisholm, obviously going to modify this year, but national champ two years in a row, and we've had guys competing top five in that for recent years, so the B-Mods are again second to none. Uh, bringing in the stock cars, that's going to be interesting. I mean, we've seen them guys here two, three times here in the last couple of years, and we're looking forward to watching them. The street stocks, uh, Braden Brower, same thing. He's going to be a national point contender, and, and can't forget the Midwest Mods, Mitch Weiss and them guys. Uh, they're running right up front every week, and and challenging in points as well. Me personally, I've always been a stock car guy. I grew up on the stock cars. So I'm actually really excited to see how that stock car class grows and develops at Deer Creek Speedway. And it just adds another track in this area for one of the nation's most exciting classes. Deer Creek Speedway will see cars on track for the first time this Saturday and with a scheduled practice. However, the first race night at Deer Creek Speedway is not supposed to take place until next weekend on April 30th. While weather up here has been cold, rainy, and just downright miserable, that doesn't mean that racing action has not been hot in the southern part of the United States. I caught up with Bryce Hall, the series director for the American Racer Modified Series, and did a little bit of a recap of what has taken place this spring. 2022 is the second season for the USRA American Racer Modified Series, and this year is off to a hot start. Chris Hennigan picked up the season opener win at the Arklatech Speedway in Vivian, Louisiana, 
That feature win was worth $3,500. A couple weeks later, he went on to win in Manny, Louisiana at the Sabine Speedway, and he started on the fifth row that night en route to his feature win. Those two wins has put Chris Hennigan in the points lead, 26 markers ahead of Joe Duvall, who won the most recent arms race at the Super B Speedway in Chatham, Louisiana, in a wild finish to the A Main that night. Chris Hennigan obviously off to a great start. However, there's a lot of season left with 16 more points races left for the ARM Series in 2022. Up next, we'll have two events in the month of May. We'll head to the historic Devil's Bowl Speedway in Mesquite, Texas on May the 7th. Two weeks later, we'll head to Lawton, Oklahoma to the Lawton Speedway. Hope to see you at an arms race soon. And now it's time for Tyler's Turkey Tip of the Week. That old gobbler just hangs up just a little bit of out of range. Give him a little bit of a purr. Maybe a cluck or two. And that old boy might come in just looking for a little bit of love. That will do it for Rink's Roundtable where we talk about what has happened and what's going to happen. And quite frankly, I got a tag that's burning a hole in my pocket that I need to fill yet. So we'll catch you next time on Rink's Roundtable.